I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my channel. Here is a question from one of our subscribers who wants to understand how to work with factoring of polynomials, especially when we are working with four degree or quartic equation and we are given its roots. The question here is if the polynomial 6x to the power of 4 plus 8x cubed minus 5x squared plus ax plus b is exactly divisible by 2x squared minus 5, find the value of a and b. Now, in this question, when we say exactly divisible by this, that means 2x squared minus 5 is a factor, correct? Or it means that if you solve it, 2x squared minus 5 is a factor really means that the x values for which you get the ro real roots will be equating this to 0 will give us 2x squared equals to 5 or x squared equals to 5 over 2 or x equals to square root of 5 over 2 plus and minus. So you get a 0 for these values. So one method is you can substitute this value of x in the equation. There are two values. So you get two equations and you can solve for a and b, right? So, so what I say is sub x equals to plus minus square root 5 over 2 and solve for a and b. This is one method, correct? So this is one method which you could definitely adopt. However, in this exercise, I feel that solving in this way might take a lot of time. And since it is a, a radical, it will create problems in solving. It's not an easy uh, equation to solve. So what should we do? We'll do long division. Right. So we'll divide uh, the polynomial given to us by the given factor. So the polynomial given to us is 6x to the power of 4 plus 8x cubed minus 5x squared plus ax plus b. Right? We need to divide this by 2x squared minus 5x. You will notice that x term is missing, so we'll write a placeholder 0x here to divide. Now this placeholder is very important, right? So so, so concentrate on this. We have introduced 0x just as a placeholder. It doesn't really change the divisor, right? Now let's divide. So, so uh, 6x to the power of 4, that means we'll take this as 3x squared. Multiplying, we get 6x to the power of 4 plus 0x cubed minus, this becomes 15 x square right and now uh, let's take the difference once again and then continue so here we get 8x cube and plus 10x square plus ax and 8x cube means by 4x correct so multiplying by 4 we get 8x cube plus 0x square so this is a placeholder it doesn't really change right but 4 minus 5 times will be minus 20x. Now, if you take away, what do you get? So, here we get 10x square, and here we get plus. So, we have, I could write like this. Within brackets, I could write a plus 20x, correct? So, when you take away, and now bring down plus b. So we have to get 10x squared. So now I'll multiply by 5. So we get 10x squared plus 0x and 5 times 5 is 25. Okay. So you get 25 here. Now again, we'll just take the difference. So when you take this difference then uh, what you get really is this cancels but you have here a plus 20x 
and here you get plus b plus 25 okay so so that's what you get now you say that the remainder should have been zero right so the remainder should have been zero because it is a factor now since this remainder which is a plus 20x plus b plus 25 should be equal to zero it really means what it means that a plus 20 should be zero and this is also equal to zero right so that means that a plus 20 equals to zero or a equals to minus 20 and here b plus 25 equals to zero and that means b equals to minus 25 correct so that is how you are going to solve this particular equation correct so we got two answers uh, both values of a and b are negative in our case so a is minus 20 and b is equal to minus 25 so this is a much simpler method do long division and equate the remainder to zero to ensure that 2x square minus 5 is a factor perfect so i hope you understand these steps involved feel free to write your comments and share your views uh, thanks for watching and all the best